So, for me, are you ready for my prediction? Before you give the prediction, predictions being sponsored by MyBookie. Check them out at mybookie.ag. Use the promo code Atlas for 50% credit on See, your See, now you're going to get deposit. the shark going to come up. <laughs> right? But you set it up nice, Ken. Yeah. Now the shark, the shark's about to come out of the water. <laughs> give ahead. it to him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. That's it. Use the promo code Atlas, 50% credit on your first deposit, and get ready for some easy money. Give it to him, Teddy. I'm going with water. I'm going a lot of people are like, they're going with Fury. Maybe some of it, they're, they're feeling, so they want to see the underdog. They're his story. He's got a great story. Hey, Wilder's got a good story, too. He's got a good story, too. Taking care of a, a daughter that was uh, born with some problems, mm -hmm. and, and he's been a good father, and he's been able to take care of her. Uh, it's a beautiful story, and, and, uh, and Fury's got a beautiful story. You know, he got to a place in life where nobody should get to, where mm -hmm. he didn't want to live no more. Yep. And he decided to live it. Some people might be caught up in that story. But at the end of the day, uh, I'm going with Wilder, not just because of the right hand. I'm going with him that he does have the chance. He did finally land it late in a fight. He could pick up where he left off. Mm -hmm. he, he finally figured it out a little bit. And But there's another reason. I haven't seen really a change in Fury. You know, he's, you made a good point. He switched trainers a couple of times already. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't seen, he's going to be what he's going to be. I, I did see him be gritty and in that second fight on ESPN. Uh, he, Otto Wallen. Yeah, Wallen. Yeah. You know, he, he, he overcame he, a huge he, he cut. He overcame a cut and he just went after it, you know, and yeah. he showed a different dimension instead of that cutie dimension, yeah, you know. Yeah. So he showed that, but he, he's, I don't think he can do that. No. You know, that, that might be a little... Um, uh, that might be a little bit of uh, uh, suicidal, but <laughs> but I think that he's got to be the cutie, he's got to be the small guy, he's got to be the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, all, all those things I said um, in, in in this fight. But I I feel that Wilder has added something. He's added a delivery system that I picked up on about two fights ago. We talked about it on, mm -hmm. on our show where he he mesmerized you with the jam and then bop, the right hand's right behind it. Not like boom, boom, yeah. but it was before. And mm -hmm. I was like boom, boom, uh, bop. And, and you don't see it. George Foreman did it. Tefilio Stevenson did mm -hmm. it. As I said earlier, the great Olympian. And they all did it where they, they make, they lie. They they lie to you. Mm -hmm. They lie to you, Ken. Ken, they lie to you. Yeah. They they make you think you're safe because they're only throwing a jab three quarters, so you're safe, and so you think that's the that's the end of the line of danger. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's not. It's about three inches further because they didn't extend the jab. Yeah. And Wilder's learn how to do that. Make you feel safe. You stand in front. You cooperate a little bit, and and then boom. You don't realize that it's right on top of you. You don't have time to register in your brain, mm -hmm. and the lights are out. Good night, and uh, <laughs> you know you're snoring and stuff. Yeah, and so he's got that going into this second fight. And the other reason why I'm picking Wilder is because there's a part of me that doesn't feel that Fury can be any better than he was the first time, emotionally, mentally, and technically that he fought the best fight he could he could mm -hmm. fight yeah i know people are gonna say but teddy he could avoid that right then it's a better fight yeah i got it. but he fought about as good as he could fight and he handled the pressure he he did everything everything really good and he still got caught mm -hmm. he still got caught twice twice still got caught twice and so again when i had to have a fight i try to do it for more the dimensions and angles that I think you should. And I'm trying to give that to them, you mm -hmm. know, all those for what it's worth. And I think that that pretty much sums it up for me that I, I, A, I think that Wild is the one guy bringing something new with the delivery system. Um, and I think that, again, that it's going to be who makes the adjustments to, looks at the film. And I feel that Fury. To a certain extent, and I, and I get pushback on this, but I, I don't know that he thinks he can get better because it is a mental game. Mm -hmm. He fought so good, so good, almost perfect, and he still got caught twice. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that he can mentally go into the fight 
thinking that he can better that. Mm -hmm. And that means something. Again, it's got nothing to do with favoritism or anything. It's got to do with purely logic in my mind of why I'm picking. I'm going with Wilder, ninth round knockout. I'm even going to give you a knockout. There you have uh, it. I'm a, a round. I'm even going to give you a round. All right. Wilder by knockout in the ninth rounds. Well, Lock close. Or oh, they're up. They're close. Lock it in, Rob. And again, check out mybookie.ag. Uh, if you like Teddy's pick, jump on it. 50% credit if you use the promo code ATLAS, A-T-L-A-S. 